if you have never spent the night in a lovely Walmart facility to catch a little sleep before finishing the drive and making it to your destination, you you have not lived. I tell you, that's a, a rough experience. Um, tip from somebody who's done it a little bit. Curtains. If you're sleeping in the back of your truck cap, get curtains. And that will give yourself a little bit of privacy slash peace of mind while sleeping in a Walmart parking lot or, or a busy area such as that. Um, yeah. So anyway, we're in Louisiana, and that's awesome. I, uh, I've been dreading this one for a bit, but here it is. Uh, we're ready to grab the bull by the horns and figure out if Louisiana is all myth or if it's going to be as much of a challenge as I think it's going to be. So far, I've heard bird gobble four times shortly after pitching out. Pitched out to a pasture, and the last time I heard him, he was pretty good ways away. Kind of perhaps in the area a little bit and caught up a hand. That was pretty cool. Walked up on a pair of hunters. Not as cool. Seen lots of boot tracks, and I heard a lot of trucks on the gravel road this morning. But this is like walking across. 
across a field. Look how open that is. Pretty. Love to see a bird come strutting up through it. Poop tracks, but a lot of turkey tracks too. I knew there were too many boot tracks in here. That's too bad. Yesterday there were a lot of people hunting. Started out on a bird that went complete opposite direction on a private. Um, tried to roost him last night, was unable to do such. Uh, there was another spot I hunted midday that sold a bunch of tracks and sold a bunch of boot tracks, which, and a feather pile. I went in at like 1 30 in the afternoon. When I came back, there was a truck 50 yards down to one side, another truck 50 yards down to the other side of me. So, why we felt the need to park on top of each other there i'm not exactly sure i did hear the one guy calling as he walked down the trail but um it just didn't make sense to me but so i went there this morning and just sat in the truck for a little bit and waited lo and behold did have somebody try to come in and they parked down 50 yards down from me again, so I know they're headed to the same place I'm headed, or was going to head. So rather than fight that battle, I conceded and came to a different spot. Well, the sun's been out for a little bit now. And really just been trying to cover some ground and hopes to strike one. But pretty breezy. A lot of these woods are burned. Around lunchtime at the moment. It's hot. Getting a little tired here. I've been covering a lot of ground. I'm not seeing a whole lot of turkey sign, unfortunately. So far this morning has been very quiet. Started out very gray, dreary, and of course humid. Actually, right now the sun's popping out, so that's when magic happens. It's late in the evening. Really, I just wanted a spot I could look at and see a little bit. So I'm kind of on a field. But where it necks up, if anything comes into it, I think this is where they're going to come out. Not sure if they're using this at all. I did see a couple drags out in it, but mainly just going to sit here and be mostly quiet. Hope the first one tonight. It's day four in Louisiana. We're on the go today. Uh, getting stuff ready at the parking lot. Fella pulled in. They would talk to that guy, kind of let him know where I was going to be on. And then two more cars rolled in. And it's like, all right, well, I gotta be getting going. And didn't hang around and talk to them. And then another car pulled in by the time I was walking away. So, who knows what kind of cluster this is going to be. It is the last good weather day for a while. Which is not good.
sitting down for the afternoon. I'm gonna wait them out for a couple hours. Not how I want to do this, but I feel I must be done. Morning, it's day five in Louisiana. And roosted ain't roasted, but I had one gobble three times last night. I got a decent line on him. Um, I don't know exactly where he was. Honestly, it wasn't that close, but I got a good feel for it. It was supposed to be raining this morning. It looks like I'm pushed out till at least noon. So we'll see. Um, pressure's actually over 30. Which I haven't been seeing too much of, so he might gobble this morning. Hopefully that doesn't call in a bunch of my buddies. But either way, because they haven't been talking very much, I got an idea where he is. story time of how I can mess up a wet dream. Those birds were on fire. I got as close as I dared. Sat down. Called a little. They never answered me, really. I think one time they sort of did. But for the most part, they, they just kept gobbling. I thought I saw a bird pitch down. And in my head, a lot of this grassy stuff he had a burn spot that I didn't know was there. And that's what he pitched down into. Once they pitched, dead silence. So, yelped a few more times, nothing. I sat and waited for 45 minutes. I was like, well, if he's still strutting in that same spot, I'm going to slip up there. started working towards him. About the time I'm looking, I mean, I'm pretty much looking for a turkey head to pop up and look at me through the grass and I see movement. And I realize it's a hunter. Doing the same thing I'm doing. 
coming down right through where I thought the birds were. Holy crap. So, I talked to him. Nice dude. He was in here last night too. He heard him. He came in from a different parking area. Pretty much smack dab in the middle between the two. I can't be mad at him for that. He doing what I would have done. So there ended up being a total of three people on the same turkeys this morning. That is insane. When the bird gets gobbling like that, you know dang well he's calling in every hunter in the woods. Because I heard him from a pretty good ways off because I was way off my mark. Got some storms rolling through for the afternoon, so we're gonna go without uh, without the big camera. I think for the most part we're gonna be good, but then right at dark it's gonna pour, so we'll throw a raincoat in and see if we need it. Hopefully not. Just had my first experience with fire ants. That was not enjoyable. Ouch! Every now and then, I hunt wild turkeys, you get to uh, experience some really cool things. And last night was one of those things. I um, was trying to catch these birds before they went back to roost. I opened that roosted in the same general area and hopefully I'd be able to hear a wing beat or something. Well, sitting there and it's probably a solid 45 minutes to an hour before I would expect a bird to be flying up and hear this whoosh of wings. And next thing I know, two crashing gobblers land over top of my head. I mean, right over top of me. It was unreal. They just, they came from so far away. So it's a bunch of tall grass around it. So I'm guessing they just didn't want to walk through the grass and they just flew. That or they got bumped by a hunter, which is possible because there's a lot of hunters in here. But I know exactly where they are, and I'm going to slip in tight. Uh, rain last night. It's going to be raining this morning. Hopefully that deters some people. Hopefully they do not gobble. Um, one of those rare instances that I don't want a turkey to gobble. Because I need him to shut up. I'm not going to make a peep. Hopefully they don't stay too long up in that tree. And let it get too light. But, and I'm hoping that with, the, uh, with them being wet, It'll just drop right down and not glide out but I'm not sure how that's gonna work because if they do that they gotta hit the trail and I should have them but you know what they say roosted ain't roasted yesterday I thought I knew where those birds were and I was like 200 yards off and I'm guessing because they gobbled on the ground not at the tree and then flew the rest of the way so interesting birds here that's for sure
I'm getting my butt whooped. I uh, had an opportunity first thing in the morning. I was underneath those turkeys. They flew down to a burn, which actually sailed out like 180 yards to do that. Um, I was kind of hoping they'd be wet and they'd just drop right to the ground. Was not the case, but it sailed out to that burn and then I kind of crept up. They were a little bit farther than I'd like them to be. And we kind of saw each other at the same time. So I had a brief opportunity. They didn't bust out, probably because I was too far away. Um, I'm not wanting to take that stupid shot. So I didn't win. Turkey's still alive. Um, I was in there last night hoping they'd come back and then pitch up from that, that area, which is kind of what I think they did the day before. Um, they did not, and I have no idea where they are. So somewhere in there, there's two turkeys. Uh, rained all last night, raining right at the beginning of the morning today. I don't anticipate any gobbling today, just the way things have been going. So we'll get out there anyway. The only thing to do is keep grinding. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. That turkey just gobbled on its own. Pretty far. I don't think he's on public land. Thanks for coming up to private right now. But we'll see what we can do. This is our eighth morning here in Louisiana. The butt kicking continues. Um, I'll switch things up a little bit today. I think the weather's decent. I think they might gobble. Pressure's actually a little higher than it has been. Uh, last time it got over 30 was the day that they gobbled, so we're up there now. Um, optimistic about that. Last night I was in an area, I heard a bird gobble like 4.30 in the afternoon and never heard anything else out of it. Didn't hear anything fly up, didn't hear anything gobble, but I believe if I can get back in that general vicinity, I might be able to hear that bird. Granted, I think it was on private when they gobbled, but we'll see. I'd take hearing a turkey at this point. And hopefully today's the day to do that. Also, not as much pressure on this piece. Um, the roads are not the same, I guess, mud, sand road, so you can't see tracks in them. So I noticed that uh, walking through here, it didn't feel like there was as much turkey sign, but I think there's turkeys in here. I just got, got that gut that they're here but you just don't see evidence of them. So I think when people hunt it, they go, oh, there's no birds here. And they end up ending up down at the other place where there was a lot of tracks on the road. So we'll see. Oh, I finally found a goblin turkey today. Got him pretty good. Should be on the ground at 7.30 in the morning. But, but he is pretty far off on private. He's answered me a couple times. do with this thing.
Oh, that turkey on private land just got shot. I was fixing a knock on that door. See if I get permission, but probably not going to bother now. <laughs> oh well. I won't even kill him over here, so good for him. It is our ninth and final morning here in Louisiana. And unfortunately, I got to start creeping my way north if I'm going to make it back to work. Um, Louisiana has been kicking my butt. I uh, did have a few opportunities in there that, um, in hindsight, I think I could have capitalized on a little bit better. But it's one of those things. It's it's okay if the bird wins, and I wasn't going to stretch myself ethically to just be able to check off a state it's not that important so um this morning is the first morning that i've seen stars when i woke up since i've been here uh that's awesome it's 48 degrees it's chilly there's clear skies it's not windy if there's a morning the turkeys are going to gobble it's going to be it and i'm in an area where i think there's a bird He's got fresh tracks on these sand trails and they would have been washed clean on Saturday. So they were made Saturday or Sunday. Today is Monday. So hopefully I'm going to slip in where I think he is. Uh, I kind of ruled out an area where he's not last night. So slip into where I think he might be. Hopefully he gets to talking. Let's see it, Louisiana. It's your last chance. Can't say I'm surprised, but another morning here in Louisiana and turkeys ain't goblin. I know I got a bird somewhere in here. I'm lost for words. It's a beautiful morning today. Absolutely beautiful. But fortunately, I think my time is coming to a close here. going on tomorrow morning. I need to be hitting it kind of early today with it not going on. And it hasn't been going on the last eight days, so I really don't feel like I'm missing out on a whole lot. <laughs> I was kind of hoping the weather this morning would be the, uh, the final thing there, but we're going to jump in the truck and head up North Carolina. I'll hopefully be there before too late that way I don't have to stop and sleep that way I can be hunting in the morning but c'est la vie I guess the uh, US Super Slam will have to wait one more year because I got a pretty tight uh, timeline this year and things aren't adding up the way they're supposed to it ain't gonna happen so the uh Kind of sucks dropping that possibility this early in the game this year, but it's what it is. <laughs> <laughs>